Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I get my call tones. Alright, I'm not going to waste your time, so we'll go ahead and get into the DAW. And I will go ahead and play the guitar only from that intro that you just heard. Sounds kind of lame on its own. Most of the tone is coming from the bass. So do keep that in mind. However, I will go ahead and show you my process here. So first I had Pro MB. This is mostly just because I had some weird high-end information just constantly there. And what this does is basically brings it down to basically nothing until I play the guitar, as you'll see here. And the way you would do that, at least in this Pro MB, is pick the area that you want and click on expand and that way it doesn't take it down when you play but it'll kind of push it up. Next I just have an EQ applied onto my DI so I'll go ahead and just play without and with just so you can kind of get an idea of what's happening. <laughs> So you can probably hear when I turn it off, it gets really disgusting. So I'm going to go ahead and disengage the Gojira X real quick and play the DI with and without because it is kind of a important step. So this is without. And with it. So you can probably hear it kind of cleaned it up a lot and I added a lot of low end, so I'll go ahead and throw on the Gojira X now, and we'll go ahead and listen to before and after. Before is really bad, I'm sorry. So you can probably really hear that it just made it a lot better with the boost. I'm getting rid of a lot of the weird frequencies here, like these. Just really scratchy frequencies up here. These EQ moves, all of these EQ moves right here, it's going to be entirely dependent on one, your signal, two, your guitar, and just your gear in general. So that is kind of something to keep in mind. I like to cut off some of I like to cut off some of the muddiness before it hits the amp because if I cut it after the amp, it's going to alter the tone quite a bit and I don't really want that. And these are just entirely dependent on your setup and it is completely optional. Next, I will go into the Gojira X and it looks like I was just using the chunky modern rhythm preset. I believe all I did was turn up or down the gain just a tiny bit, as well as just dialed back the gain a little bit, and I changed the impulse response on one of them. So I'm using the Impact Studios Humanity's Last Breath IR for one, and I'm blending that in with the condenser for 14. This is all default, and I didn't mess with any balancing or anything like that. Next, just some basic EQ, getting rid of a bit more of the mids because they did get kind of out of hand, even though I did EQ them a bit out. So I'm cutting out these frequencies here on the subs. These on the muddiness. So as you can see, I'm just finding 
terrible frequencies that I didn't like or that were making it kind of unintelligible even though it's in double drop C sharp. <laughs> but basically all you're going to want to do here is just not sculpt your tone necessarily, but just kind of make it fit in the mix and that's kind of just what I did here. I had the whole mix playing and I was just listening for frequencies and cutting where I felt that it was needed. Then I have another instance of Pro MB. This one is on the compress mode, so it's the general trick everyone ever in the world teaches, where it just catches the palm mutes, but because this is such a low tuning, it just does it all the time. <laughs> And without it, I believe, yeah, I put a volume boost on there. Not necessary, but it is taming a lot of that low end information from the chugs, which is important when it is nothing but us really, it's, it's honestly just a truly subby tone. So it really does help it fit in the mix. Next, I just have a bit more EQ, getting rid of some terrible whistly sounds up here. I'm not really going to play those because it's just going to hurt everyone's ears. And a little cut here that was probably made after the fact because I did try to record vocals over this, so I could probably get away without it. But it still sounds fine, so I'll just keep it. And lastly, for my guitar chain, I just have Freaks, Frequency Sniper, Freak Sniper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can get the same effect using Soothe, but it was included in my membership to nail the mix, so I may as well just use it. But basically all it's doing is just getting rid of all of the weird stuff that kind of makes your ears hurt when you turn it up. So this is all of what's cutting. Even, it's not entirely necessary if I turn it off. And, um, so yeah, not entirely necessary. However, like I did say, a big part of this tone does come from the bass. And for my bass tone, I will go ahead and kind of walk through that now. Uh, for the bass track, I just have one single instance of Jin Bass 2, nothing else. It's just on the DI preset. As you can see, I have it, well, you probably can't see. I have it routed to both of these tracks here. And what that allows me to do is basically use one instance of the plugin and split the signal so I can process it differently. If you want a dedicated video on that, let me know and I'll, I'll, and I'll make it. So I have a bass distortion track and I have a bass subtrack. And to process all of that, I basically took all of this from Mo Metal Productions. You can, <laughs> I'll link his video in the description, but just to go over it very quickly, I'm compressing it as it's going into any of my processing after, just so it's more level, giving it a bit more attack and just making it just a lot more even in general. Then I have Saturn. I basically am getting rid, not doing really anything to the bass, but mids, I'm pushing some saturation. With the EQs, EQ options here, I'm just leaving the mids, cut everything else. And for the highs, I'm giving it a bit of saturation and some minor EQ to taste. And then I also took this from Mo Metal Productions. However, I just using Kali oversized for the IR. And <laughs> I kind of just copied this from his video as well, but just to go over, why not? And this basically is cutting out everything that I don't want in my distorted signal, but it's also raising some of the presence of the bass, so this is without. And this is with. Then I just have Soothe, just some minor adjustments, if you can call it minor. And this is basically getting rid of a lot of the harshness out that I was getting out of Saturn and the saturation and all, so this is without. Really bad, and with. Then I just have another really crazy EQ, just kind of taming it a bit more, so without. And 
significant significant <laughs> volume decrease as well because of all the information being taken away and a really scary looking multi-brand compression but the goal here was to just solo out each frequency range and just get rid of the subs because this is the distortion track uh, tame a little bit of the low mids the mids highs and you know so on so this is without and with and to the sub bass track this is going to be very hard to show so i have our bass i'm just kind of pushing 32 hertz in this particular mix that will vary depending on what the song requires but that is how i set this up so this is without and with kind of just hyping the bass and then for the sub bass i cut out a lot of like the really unnecessary lows and and filter out everything else that's not basically like the root of the sound so so if i show you with that i'll have to get rid of all of that so let's do that or not so basically <laughs> once you get the root of the bass notes that you want you're going to clip it like crazy as you can see i'm very much squashing this and then some more basically another version of this eq but with the exception of getting rid of some of more of the rumble that is introduced from clipping it that hard and then just a multiband compressor to tame it a little bit more i'm sorry if you're listening on a phone by the way you probably can't hear a single thing but after that i just have those feeding into my bass bus so i have virtual tape machines and this is honestly i think default so load up virtual tape machines and you're good to go i have virtual mix rack with the fg bomber just driving the signal a bit little boost to the sense intensity and just increasing the output on the fat setting fab filter eq just getting rid of this a little bit more of the subs just in case and more of the rumble that was introduced that i didn't like as well as just a flat line instance to kind of glue it together and together it'll all sound kind of bad but that's what i like and when you add the drums along with the guitar it really does start to come together into something that you're all familiar with So yeah, that was my video. If you guys want to see any other tutorials specifically, go ahead and let me know. I will go ahead and make them on a weekly basis because <laughs> I have nothing better to do with my time. But until then, if you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe if you want or don't, that's okay too. I will be releasing this song most likely very soon and in its complete form, not just the um, down to chuggy whatever this comment was so it'll be great i promise but if you want to hear my previous releases you can scan this right here and right here and it'll take you to my music and you can listen and let me be happy because someone's <laughs> validating my time that's enough shameless plugging for me <laughs>